everybody it's Gail with Gail's Bookish Things and I have an unboxing to do with you. I was looking through YouTube the other day and watching some Bible journaling videos and I came across one by Lindsay Decor and um, I have watched her off and on for a few years now but she featured a Bible journaling kit that I was super excited about. I don't always buy the kits. Uh, when I first started, I bought them all the time. Then I slowed down because I felt like I was getting more than I could use. But I was so impressed with the quality of this kit, I decided to get one. It's about um, the Emmaus Road. It's one, I think, that's designed for Holy Week, which we are into now. But I thought it would be okay if I got it just a little bit late and just kind of caught up with it. There we go. Some washi tape here just for you. Special delivery wrapped with love. So that's always fun to see cute packaging. Ah, I already like it. Look at Open Journey. Faith. Mini blessings. Very cute. Oh, and that is beautiful washi. I love floral washi tape. I love washi tape in general, but find that there's something about the florals that I'm always drawn to. That is really a pretty pattern. So let's take a peek here. It says, trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Psalm 62, 8. Now from what I understand, she does all her own artwork. Um, so anything that's in here is featuring her art. Many blessings. Open Journey. That Faith. Um, you can find her on Etsy. And I guess that looks like maybe there's a website too. Just while she's all over. And I want to like save it and stick it in one of my journals. I don't know if I can. It's kind of pulling up the paper with it. Maybe I'll just re-glue it or maybe I'll just be forced to throw it away but it's cute. The Road to Emmaus so it looks like it's stamped which is super cute. That uh, classic typewriter font is just the best I think. Set this to the side. Oh this is just beautiful isn't it? It's got this like I would call it like sari ribbon but I, I don't know if it is. It's beautiful. Kind of has a bohemian or shabby chic look. I, I don't know what the right terminology is. And then this pretty bright ribbon under there. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So it looks like it's in a little bag. So like a half bag. Uh, the bag is half the size of the stuff that's in it. I don't know if you can have a half bag. So that's so cute. I mean, like, I love it. Got to find a use for that. trying to see what it says here and I can't tell this angels something anyway beautiful beautiful stamping ribbon it's so pretty so here we have the road to Emmaus so this is a traveler's notebook size it's a devotional Bible study um, let's see here she tells us a little bit more all artwork is by Ingrid Blixt this bundle of goodies is a creative kit for Bible journaling and creative Bible study, supplying artwork in a variety of forms, printouts on cardstock, clear sticker paper and white sticker paper, along with clear polymer stamps and beautiful paper die cuts. The devotional booklet contains numerous Bible verse references and a devotional to keep you in the word for many days. And the more, the better. And it goes on, but I'll just read that bit to you. <clears throat> And I'll read it more thoroughly later. I love the setup of this. So there again, just this really pretty watercolor look, cover, designs on the back. Open journey again. So pretty. And the print on here is just really nice. Looks glossy. For we are an Easter people and Alleluia is our song, St. Augustine of Hippo. And then there's a psalm. There's 
such pretty artwork. <clears throat> and this will be like just something I will keep long term. Sometimes I'll do these things and I'm not sure what to do with all the books when I'm done. Here's some verses to look up that probably are referenced here or additional ones. I like this kind of look like she just <clears throat> kind of wrote there too or you know it's a, a mismatch of size fonts and the artwork is scattered. <clears throat> Excuse me. Again, allergies. So it's not a day by day per se, it looks like. It's just, um, let's start at the beginning, just kind of a little booklet. So I think you could just do as much or as little as you wanted with each reading. You know, sometimes you feel like you've gotten enough, this is good. You've gotten a really good point. You feel like you've learned something or you've read what you needed to hear. And it's good to stop, you know, and mull that over and think about it. And it looks like this is kind of that setup too. You know, you do as much as you want at a time, but make sure you're really digesting it. This is a beautiful picture here. The scars in Jesus' hand, the wounds, and one here too. That is just really beautifully done. Very nice. I love it. And so here's some tabs you can cut out. And then the road to Emmaus. So like when I'm Bible journaling, you can cut that out and add that in. Faith, open advocate, Easter life, glory, broke. I love these tabs. I have a tab punch, so that'll be really handy. And I love this paid stamp. The road to Emmaus. There's the feet of Jesus, or I'm guessing that that's what that's illustrating. Maybe it's our feet following him. So these are things that can be used as tippins. They could probably fit in the margin of a journaling Bible. It could be used as bookmarks. This one is really cool. This paint splatter and the crosses. Like, I really have to read her little introduction thing to totally um, take in all that's here. It's really nice quality. This is really pretty. The little triangles, some are solid and some are outlined. I really like that. If I could be an artist, I would love to be able to design things that look like that. This is also neat, this realistic looking art very meaningful you know it just says a lot just to look at that very pretty there the bread breaking at the last supper I guess I think <laughs> road to Emmaus okay so these I think if I remember right are sticker paper ones I feel like every time I'm on here my nails are dirty I really don't like having dirty nails Okay, it is. I just can't get it undone done now. I just cut my fingernails. So These would be fun. So you can snip them out, peel them, and stick them in your Bible or your journaling notebook. I think that's beautiful. I love the shades of green and yellow together. Flowers, fire, representing the Holy Spirit, I imagine. Okay, so those are the larger pieces. And then there's this cool packet here. This is really nice. Let's take these out first. Um, I also understood from what Lindsay said that she does her own sewing on here. And I think this is vellum. I have not worked with vellum and I want to. And I tried to buy some the other day and couldn't find it. I was at the craft store. I, I like how that looks. There's the sticker with the wounds in Jesus' hands. More cards that are really beautiful. I really like that. And I like this dove, I think that's pretty too. So these are cards. So tip-ins, bookmarks, um, any way, you, you know, you could probably cut them a little and stick them in on a page. I don't know that I would cut them. <clears throat> Aha! Here is the same script that is on this bag. And it's got the little blotchy marks, which is super cool. 
Hallelujah. Praise to the Lord. And so on. I can't read it all now. I won't take the time. And some pretty flowers. Those would be great for just stamping any time, but with a set. Be especially fun because it matches. And then in here are numerous die cuts, and I don't even think I got them all. Left a couple behind. This is also printed. So everything is just really nicely done, very beautifully done. I love the lettering things. I use word stickers all the time, like the Tim Holtz word stickers. I love anything that has typewriter print. Makes colors are so peaceful. Here's an open Bible. Isn't that a neat one? Lots of flowers. So it'll be really fun to use for this Eastery, springy setting. Great mercy, right hand. Some black and white ones. Oh, that's going to look really cool on a Bible page. <clears throat> I won't show each and every one slowly because we would be here for quite a while. It's really a generously uh, packed kit. Now I hear you can order also um, printables, but I don't have really good printer paper. And for me, isn't that beautiful? It ends up that I almost prefer just to buy. Oh, there's the broken bread. That's so neat. Oh, it looks like it's real. Like that would be really neat said on a page. Anyway, I, I don't have a selection of printer paper yet. I haven't looked into what our printer can handle. My husband wants me to check that out before I try it so I don't jam it, but I haven't gotten around to doing that. So I'm liking at the moment just buying the kits. Everything's already cut out and ready to go. I get a little bit tired of cutting out. Like I, I would not want to cut that out, but I'm very thankful to have it pre-cut. I would do it on a few, but not on a lot. Alive and active. Word of God, alive and active. Here's another one of the open Bible in the broken bread. Okay, well, I am going to look at this and I'm going to start reading tomorrow. We've got a few days. Um, this is Wednesday already. Um, but I think I'm going to enjoy this. I did a Lent study. I showed my flip through of my Lent, 40 days of Lent reading and Bible journaling card and this is going to be my next step as we approach Easter. It's definitely a different kind of Easter but still the resurrection is a reality. We serve a risen Savior. He has defeated death and it's a great great celebration that we always need to incorporate along with the Christmas season to remember the end story is the resurrected Savior. So I don't need to put that all away. I'll just leave that there. This is a beautiful set. Um, I would really recommend it. I haven't used it yet, of course, but it looks just absolutely gorgeous. And it's going to really add some special pages to my journaling Bibles. So that's that's really great. Again, that's Open Journey. It's by Ingrid. Looks like Blix. I don't know how you pronounce it, but I love the name Ingrid. I like Ingrid Bergman, so maybe that's why I like Ingrid. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.